uh, for me, theater is a democratic communication between actors and spectators. It is democratic. And in theater, we can see ourselves in the act of seeing. We can become the spectator of our own actor. And therefore, we discover ourselves. We discover our potentials. And we discover our oppress oppressive personality. If we have any oppressive personality in us, that also we can discover. And by discovering this oppressive personality, we can invite a positive conflicts between the human being we have inside and the oppressive personality we have inside. The conflict and that conflict produces humanization, so theater can humanize the human beings. It's a communication, it's an inward communication. We can be the spectator of our own actor. And theater is also all about construction of relationship. We construct relationship with our spectators, creating a positive conflict. We have information here in our head that we have got from our experience, and the theater gives us some more in, uh, information from the stage. Those in, those in the information we receive from the stage and the information we have in our head, they conflict. And this conflict also produces, creates intellectual growth. And that intellectual growth inspires us to go for an external transformation. So we can transform us internally by discovering ourselves, and we can also feel inspired to transform our reality. So it's all about, theater is all about rehearsal of total transformation. And my last point is, theater is acting, and acting has a dual meaning. We act on the stage as actors, and also we act outside the stage as activists. So theater should combine the both, acting and activism. That's all. Is it two minutes? <laughs>